Greetings and welcome to another series of weekly devotionals. We take a look at one of the lectionary readings for the upcoming week and offer a few thoughts uh, for reflection. Uh, so this week, one of the lectionary readings is uh, from the first chapter of the first book of the prophet Samuel. And this particular passage deals specifically with uh, Samuel's mother, Hannah, and the struggles that she went through uh, to become pregnant and to bear uh, her son, uh, who became the great prophet uh, Samuel. So this passage deals with Hannah's struggles and grief and difficulties. I remember a woman I uh, I visit uh, fairly often in a nursing home, and she's a sweet lady. When I uh, when I see her, I always ask her how she's doing, and she invariably replies, "Well, like my doctor says." could be worse. <laughs> and uh, always kind of brings a chuckle to my face because uh, she sort of says the same thing every time I visit her. It reminds me of my mom's uh, admonition to me when I was a kid. Uh, when I was a kid and I would be sick or I was complaining, I remember one particular time uh, I caught a terrible case of poison ivy and I had uh, poison ivy from uh, the, the my hip down to my toes. My entire leg was covered with it. And I was complaining and saying, I wish God would give me a new leg. And my mom yelled at me and said, there are babies born without any legs. How dare you? <laughs> Which I'm sure is true. But uh, for a five-year-old kid, uh, not very helpful. You know, I'm sure we all probably know people in our lives who, when you tell them you're suffering from pneumonia, they'll say, that's nothing. I have double pneumonia. <laughs> Again, uh, possibly true but not very helpful. And uh, this is kind of sort of what Hannah's husband, Elkanah, does to her. She's sad, she's grieving, she's lamenting, she's wailing because she can't become pregnant. As the, the scripture passage says, her, her womb is barren. And, and in the midst of her grief, her husband, Elkanah, says to her, Hannah, why do you weep? Why do you not eat? Why is your heart sad? Am I not more to you than ten sons? Elkanah gives a double portion to his wife Hannah, more than he gives to his to his other wife. Um, in ancient antiqui antiquity, uh, husbands had more than one wife. But uh, he asks her, you know, I'm I'm lavishing all this attention on you and giving you everything. Isn't that enough? And the simple answer is. No. Despite the fact that Hannah may have a lot to be grateful for, the fact of the matter is, is she's suffering. She, she wants to bear a child. And nothing that anybody can say to her is going to help that particular situation. And we're reminded that, you know, in our society, I think we have this pervasive discomfort with dealing with people's suffering and grief. And we, we try to always sort of gloss over things and try to make people feel better when in reality we're, we're simply trying to make ourselves feel better. And, and certainly uh, in, in all of our circumstances and situations, we probably all uh, still have things that we could be grateful for, for sure. Uh, but sometimes people just need to vent. And as people of, of faith, we're called to listen. Amen.